So here we have the latest motor from the OAS. Uh, it's the Storm, and this is a 2207 uh, 2500 kV motor, and it's I guess it's I guess it's a follow up to the uh, to the Fire series, which were these are uh, 2206 2206 size motors. Uh, they pretty much kept the same design philosophy on the on the storm uh, as they did on the fire. There's a few subtle changes. Uh, one of them being the uh, retaining screw has been uh, omitted in favor of uh, retaining uh, a circlip. Uh, so this portion of the motor is uh, solid. Uh, so no more, uh, no more uh, retaining screw here. Uh, they do mention on the RC groups uh, that the motor is light, so they're claiming only about a one gram difference between the 2206 and the 2207. Uh, and they mentioned something about uh, titanium bearings, but I, I don't quite understand that. I don't think the bearings themselves are, are titanium. Uh, perhaps the shaft is titanium, but I, I don't know. They're not. Uh, uh, they're not being clear about that. So uh, one one difference that is uh, readily noticeable is the uh, the windings. So they are using uh, thinner gauge wire on the on the storm compared to the uh, thicker gauge on the fire uh, so that's uh, uh, that's a good thing I think because uh, with the thinner gauge wire you're able to uh, you're able to pack more wire uh, in the in the windings uh, because uh, uh, thinner thinner gauge wire will Will uh, 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 with adjacent wires, there'll be less less uh, voids, less, less air voids. So if you have a thicker wire, you'll have more uh, more gaps in between adjacent wires. So so that's a good thing. Uh, they did keep the uh, one point oh one millimeter uh, laminations on the stator, and the stator. Is uh, it is uh, seven seven millimeters? So it's not uh, it's not larger. It's not smaller. It looks like it's right about seven milli millimeters. As far as the uh, the uh, magnets go, uh, still looks like they're using the same magnet. Uh, these are just uh, standard uh, rectangular magnets. They're not using arc magnets, curved magnets. I wish they did. Uh, that would uh, that would certainly boost uh, the performance of the motor. But I guess for this price point, uh, I guess they feel that uh, these these magnets will do. Uh, I believe they're supposed to be M52 magnets. Uh, but I do wish they moved on to uh, arc magnets like uh, most other premium motors. Uh, other than that, I think uh, pretty much the rest of the uh, the rest of the motor is uh, it's pretty much about the same as the uh, the fire. Uh, it, it does seem that the, um, the the tolerances on the uh, on the motor are pretty tight. The the shaft goes into the bearings. It, it's like a good fit. It's really snug. It's, it's you have to like really pull pull hard to remove it. So that that's good. Uh, if you have the shaft uh, just not sized properly, it'll it'll be wobbly. So so that's good that it fits. It fits quite tight. Uh, oh, just uh, one note about uh, why the uh, the curved magnets are better is just that the Keep you keep the uh, the face of the magnet uh, much closer to the face of the stator tooth throughout. So 
so as the as the rotating portion of the the bell uh, as the bell is rotating, uh, you want to keep as much of the magnet as close as possible. So the farther away you have, the less uh, the less force you're able to to make. Uh, so that's why the arc arc magnets are better. So now on to weighing the motor. Let's see. Uh, let's see what it weighs. Uh, these wires that they give you are uh, 200, uh, 200 millimeter long. Oh, uh, just to note on that, it's a, that's a good thing because uh, a lot of people are using those 4 into 1 ESCs. So these, uh, these should get you from the uh, motor position all the way to the center portion of the frame where the ESCs outputs are. So you don't have to splice in wire, so that's a good thing. And you could always cut them to whatever length you need. So with the 200 millimeter wire, these motors weigh in at uh, let's see, at 35.5 grams, and uh, this is equivalent to leaving about uh, 50 50 millimeter about 50 millimeters length of wire on the motor. So this is what you would remove. So that's 3.3. Uh, so that would be uh, about 32.2 or so, 32.2 grams on the motor. Uh, and the fire, the fire motor, uh, these wires are slightly shorter than 50 millimeters. So these are about so about 35 millimeters. So this motor is 31.2. So yeah, about one gram, only one gram heavier on the 2207. So uh, that's pretty impressive uh, for a 2207. That's a good weight. Uh, yeah, so now on to the thrust test. So let's see how this motor uh, performs. Okay, so here's the results uh, of the static thrust test for the Storm, uh, the West Storm 2207 2500 kV. I went ahead and tested uh, some of the, the, the tri blade props that are most popular right now, and a couple of uh, six inch props. Uh, these uh, six inch, I threw them in just to see what uh, kind of torque uh, and raw power the motor uh, has. Uh, this kind of tells you you know the amount of uh, some gives you an idea of the amount of torque that the motor is able to put out uh, not a it's not an exact way to determine it but uh, you know that's that's what we have uh, so numbers are pretty pretty impressive uh, upwards of uh, 1300 grams across the board basically 
uh, 1400 uh, for the cyclone, uh, the new cyclone 5046 by 3 and, and the Lumineer built but a cutter. So, um, and this is a uh, uh, 2500 kb motor, so that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, uh, the amps are uh, shown here again, they're uh, they're gonna look uh, quite high, but then remember that these are static static thrust tests. So uh, the motor is not moving, so y you know you you put a lot of load on the on the propellers. They don't unload as soon as you if it's on a quad and and uh, in the air, uh, the props are gonna be moving through air, so they won't be able to to make this you know this kind of thr thrust in the air and also the amps are gonna be a lot lower so but uh, you know these these tests are good to compare uh, motor to motor uh, under the same conditions so we are able to see how how motors uh, compare to each other uh, for instance uh, here we're gonna be able to compare the uh, 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 some of the props how it does with, uh, compared to the uh, the 2600 kV uh, uh, fire motor. Uh, so on that one, uh, it uh, on the 2206 2600 kV motor, uh, we can see that uh, it's uh, making. 1346 grams uh, at 35 amps and on the 2207 we're seeing 1414 at 40 amps so again you know more higher thrust uh, amps go up so yeah we can see even with the with the lower kV the motor is able to put a little bit more thrust uh, this is a uh, uh, com direct comparison of the same prop uh, on the 5040 by 4 uh, this is kind of interesting it's almost it's getting just about the same the same thrust on both so that could probably that means it's probably limited by the the prop itself not the motor so it, so the prop itself is kind of run, uh, running out of uh, out of air to push, so uh, it's probably due to the uh, to the low pitch. Uh, let's see if we have another prop. Uh, I think those, yeah, those two are the only ones that uh, that we can more or less compare here. Uh, and on the with the uh, just for comparison to the Fire 2300. Uh, the 5040 by 4 it's uh, just a little bit less thrust and the Dow uh, the 5045 by 3 V2 again it's uh, uh, about uh, 60 fewer grams so that that kind of makes sense uh, 2300 motors actually a good kV 2300 kV it's a good kV to have it gives you a lot of torque so so that's uh, uh so let's see what other one we can compare the okay yeah we can compare the the six inch prop uh the hq 6045 uh pretty close uh, still about 50 more grams uh and of course the amps are going to be quite high because of the high kv so I should be uh, curious to see what this 2207 with 2300 kV motor puts out. So that that should be a good test to run uh, and uh, just to compare the performance against the uh, 2206. So anyway, those are the uh, results for this test. I uh, hope you find the data interesting and. Uh, check later I'll have more uh, motor test uh, coming up 
So thanks for watching.